postcards. It yeah. is gorgeous out there. Water temperature right now is 50 degrees, so you hear about the sea turtle story yeah, and you're thinking, chilly. oh, yeah. cold. Let's look at our time lapse from Lincoln City, another nice spot for us. Lots of folks out walking the beach today. No surprise with all that sunshine that we had, and we got up to a high of 50 degrees in Portland. How about right now? Temperature is 46, getting closer to our dew point, which right now is 43. So we are seeing some patchy areas of fog out there. Wind is out of the east, pretty light right now, about uh, five miles per hour. And some fog developing right outside of McMinnville, heading up north through Hillsboro and into Portland. So right there in the valley, you will find some patchy areas of fog, but nothing below two or even a mile right now. So not going to slow your drive down at this point. But just notice that because we could see that fog become a little bit denser as we get on through the evening. Current temperatures at the coast are in the mid to upper 40s. Inland valleys low to mid 40s. Temperature in central Oregon, chilly 29 in Burns. We have 34 Bend, 34 in Redmond and 38 Pendleton. So here's the next front on its way and with it we can expect gusty winds at the coast. Rain and then snow first at past levels, then dropping as we get through the evening tomorrow. Here's how things will play out as we get to Tuesday early in the morning. A wet morning commute throughout the entire day. A little bit of a break here and there right around your dinner hour Tuesday night. And then everything clearing out for us on Wednesday. Look at that. No rain happening here Thursday, though. More rain and more snow on the way. Snow levels will rise a little bit, though, as we get to that second system at the end of the week. How are things shaping up here, Mount Hood Meadows? Well, we have some brand new snow, about two new inches, and it's 25 degrees. So the good news is it's cold enough overnight and during the day to make some snow. Here's your ski report a 22 inch base at Timberline, Meadows 15 inches. Uh, just six inches for you, Ski Bowl and Mount Bachelor, 21 inches with three inches of brand new snow. How much rain could we see tomorrow? Anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch at the coast by Wednesday early morning, wrapping up that rain. Once again, the coastline will see the biggest totals so far. And where we're not seeing the snowfall on the west side of our foothills, you could receive over an inch of rain. Again, snow levels tomorrow night could be as low as 3,000 feet. Tomorrow's daytime highs at the coast, upper 40s. Inland Valley is upper 40s as well. Starting off with some chilly, to say the least, morning temperatures. Central Oregon, some low 20s in the mix. Bend, you'll wake up to 30 with an afternoon high of 45. Looking for 45 for a high Cascade Locks. And your seven day forecast looks like this. After all that rain and some brand new snow, we get to say hello to the sunshine again on Wednesday with a high of 50. 50 being our average daytime high. Thursday, back to more rain and a temperature of just 45. And then heading into the weekend, a little bit of a mix going on. You have some breaks in between, some dry periods mixed in with the rain. So if you have some weekend plans, let's say, to cut down a tree, uh, well, I got to say. You got to cut down a tree? Well, I want to 